Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk a little bit about a realistic looking ice. I think this is going to be a short one because actually it's pretty easy to do. So uh, let's start by um, creating a cube. And um, if I press the N key and then B, we can see the segments. So I, w I think we have to upper these. Um, let's say 50 segments each. And also I want to give it a little bit of a fillet not that much maybe like so okay and um, the reason why I'm up at these segments is because I now want to put on a displacement so by holding shift and um, go to this uh, modifier section here I can uh, click and drag the displacer onto this uh, cube and in the displacer I'm going to shading and then I'm gonna select a noise it here so now it looks like this this is obviously too much of a noise so let's go in there and um, let me just uh, drag this one up here and uh, we've got some presets here if I, if I click on this little arrow here and um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, electric yeah and uh, then I'm gonna maybe upper the scale like so so we get that non-uniform um, shape let me fire up Octane. So right now we can't see very much. Um, I'm going to change the settings from um, from direct lighting to path tracing. And I already got a preset here. So got the AR lights activated and as well as some other things, uh, adaptive sampling, all that stuff. Okay. And uh, now everything got dark. The reason why is because in the settings of my Octane, I got in the environment, I got the default environment color to black. I think uh, default is actually default is something like uh, like a gray or something like that. So uh, the environment doesn't emit any light now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a HDRI environment. Just really quickly drop in an HDRI, maybe something like this. And yeah, and now we see this. Okay, this is fine. So we have to give this a cube a material. Just gonna go ahead and click on material and um, maybe we could um, go with the with a regular specular material here, but. I always work with uh, the blend material so I can just mix some different materials although this is not necessary in this case so I'm gonna put on the blend material and open up the node editor and in the node editor I'm going to material one add a material and uh, here I'm gonna change the material type to a specular for example and Change this one to Batman. Okay. Another important thing to um, to have in mind is uh, the index of refraction, especially the index of refraction of ice. If we search for IOR in in your favorite search engine, uh, you can see that uh, we have this index of refraction list. For example, there are some different, but um, this one is good actually. If I click on this, so I go to um, I and here I can see ice. Ice has, a, has an index of refraction of 1.309. So I'm just going to copy this one. And in the index, right now I set to 1.5. I'm going to set this one to 1.309. So now we got this. Uh, it's pretty shiny right now. And we want to give it some roughness to make the illusion of, um, like, of you know, like some frost here around this. So. I got this texture. Um, you can um, just search maybe for if you don't have a, a, um, a texture for this, you can maybe search for ice overlay or, or stuff like that. I got mine from Polygon, and it works pretty good. So let me just uh, drag this one in here, um, and let me connect the image texture to the roughness, and you will immediately see. It, um, it looks way, way better now. 
looks much more like ice. Uh, you can see those um, rough details here. The next thing is uh, that uh, sometimes those uh, ice cubes got some small bubbles inside. Let me just uh, show you that real quick. Uh, you can see it here, those um, air pockets inside the, the ice cubes. And uh, we can achieve that by creating a, let's say, a sphere. We put this one to icosahedron and then scale it way down, maybe like so, and put that sphere into a cloner and uh, set the cloner from a linear to object and the object is going to be our cube. So uh, right now um, those um, those spheres are on the surface but we want them inside. So um, we can change that by going to the cloner and go to um, distribution, surface and uh, check the volume and now they are inside. And we also want some uh, randomness so I'm going to con not only in the in the um, overall scale, but uh, in the x, y, and uh, z uh, separately. So um, I'm just going to click on this sphere and convert it. I'm going to make it editable, and uh, then I'm um, going to click on the cloner and go to MoGraph and go to Effector and put on a random effector. And on the random effector, we're going to uncheck position. We don't need position. Let me just uh, quickly. Um, Disable the cube so that you can see it better. Um, so here are our little air pockets. And I'm um, going to enable scale and put this one to, let's say, um, minus 0.5 each. Just doing quickly. And uh, you can see that um, you can already see the uh, variation here. And um, we can also enable, for example, a rotation. Give it um, rotation each by three, what, 360. So now everything is, uh, is random now. And uh, I'm going to enable the cube. And um, we can also go ahead and put on this uh, material we already created onto our cloner. And you see, um, we got these little air pockets. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, the last thing we could do is uh, we could give it some cracks. Um, like it's, um, you know, um, sometimes the ice is uh, broken a little bit at least. And uh, this is also very easy. Um, just uh, rescale this one. We're gonna create a plane. We just put it here, and on this onto this plane, we're gonna put on a displacer. Displacer. Gonna go to shading, and I'm gonna. Any, um, I'm gonna select noise, and uh, it's already got some displacement going on and actually we can upper the scale a little bit so maybe like so and um, I'm gonna put this plane into a group I'm gonna explain that in a minute and um, go to the cube and put this cube into a pool I'm gonna put this um, null as a child of the the bool as well. So now, if we if we move the null now, see we get this uh, these cracks here. And um, I'm gonna give the null a material as well, the same material actually, and um, maybe give it some give it some rotation. Maybe like so. And uh, even push 
it up a little bit. So we got one crack. And this is looking pretty good. Um, so the reason why I put this one into a null is because I'm gonna uh, copy the plane, and put it here. And uh, let me just uh, move this one here. So the um, this null object acts as a group for um, for the bool. And let me rotate this like so, like so. Yeah. And uh, that's the way how you create uh, realistic looking ice cubes. And you could apply this one to actually anything. Um, I got this, um, let me just see, I got this model. And you can see here, very good that um, I applied some uh, some cracks here and uh, and the, uh, the overall roughness on the face, for example, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and check this one with another HDRI to see how it looks. Maybe, maybe with this one. Yeah. Just really quickly disable the alpha channel. So, so we got this garage here. But you can see that um, this technique actually produces pretty, pretty cool results, and it's very easy to do. So um, that's it. I hope you liked it, and if so. Follow me, give me a like and uh, comment and I see you next time. Bye.